Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Yosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. So today's video is a Ask Yosha. This question was asked by one of my viewers. This question is from Jenny's World and it's a long one so I'm gonna plop it up so y'all can read it. It says, what is your advice on having a narcissistic baby daddy? I'd love to hear your feedback. It's a long post. I apologize. I'm six months pregnant and we broke up during my first trimester, but we lived together. Now, pause. I have a video about how to get over your baby daddy while living together. Plop that right there. Check that out after you watch this video if you are in that situation because it is possible and I really elaborate on that, but I'm told her that I was gonna make her a separate video because I don't have a video about what to do when your baby daddy is a narcissist. This is it, I'm making it today. <laughs> he has his good days, but 90% of my pregnancy he's been absent. He leaves daily and doesn't come home till two or four in the morning. We're behind on rent and bills. He claims he hustles to get money, but comes home with nothing half the time. He puts his friends, plans and other things such as alcohol and dates. He's been on Tinder for months before me. He knows I've been struggling with my depression, anxiety, and refuses to be there for me no matter how many times I begged and cried for him to come home because my anxiety would get extremely bad. He just told me to calm down. He has cooked and spent time with me but only two to three times out of the entire six months. He has stressed me out yelled at me and verbally emotionally abused me such as him blaming me for everything we have had a toxic relationship prior he always puts himself first when he sees how bad my mental health has gotten i've tried working it out with him multiple times but it's always one-sided and or turns into an argument the breakup is already hard especially since he recently told me he's talking to someone else but his role as a dad hurts me more because he's not treating me fair he has spoken to me nice and all, but I've been disrespected many times. I don't feel comfortable getting along with him anymore. He intimidates me. To make things worse, he portrays this fake image on his friends and family that he's a good dad and takes credit. So people aren't really aware of how he is or what he's doing, especially since he's always gone. I do plan on moving in with my mom and has been considering cutting him out of my daughter's life. But I personally feel like he doesn't deserve a father title if all he does is hurt me and leave me my, myself on this pregnancy. I don't want her to risk experience his toxicity or have him disrespect me in front of her. What is your advice? All right. So. First things first, I would definitely move in with your mom as soon as possible. I responded to her comment with a lengthy one as well, but I wanted to make a dedicated video because I get questions like this all the time. If your mom is willing to take you in, move in with your mom. If she can be your birth partner, let her be your birth partner if he doesn't want to be there. And if you don't have those restrictions due to the pandemic that only allow like one person, I would definitely let your mom be there. I went through the majority of my pregnancy with Josiah by myself. Me and my baby daddy were together for about four months before he got locked up and had to miss the rest of the pregnancy, including the birth. And probably like the first few months of my son's life, he didn't get to see Josiah for the first time until he was about four months old because he ended up getting out March of the following year. And he went in February of the year that I was pregnant. So I say all that to say, I definitely understand what it feels like to be alone during your pregnancy. In fact, my baby daddy and I actually broke up when I was like three months pregnant. I had just found out the gender of the baby. I had announced it, made a huge like Instagram post, Facebook post. And a week later, I found out that this Negro was cheating on me with some girl on Instagram. And she got receipts from Instagram in my DMs. And it was the most embarrassing and hurtful thing, but I told him I was done, because I'm like, how you gonna cheat on somebody and they pregnant with your damn baby? You inconsiderate narcissist of a person. So I definitely can resonate with being with somebody that's a narcissist. The thing about narcissist people is that they do not have accountability. It's always somebody else's fault. They're always the victim. They have to make somebody else feel like it's their fault. So 
so that they can take away accountability of themselves for the crap that they are doing that is wrong that they know is wrong deep down honestly i would tell you to just focus on yourself and having a healthy baby because he's probably caused you to stress yourself out more than you've needed to this whole pregnancy I think that although you love him, if he and you are broken up, y'all are not together. So you need to be planning out your life from a co-parenting perspective. Stop having sex with him if y'all are still having sex. Because um, I know you could be broken up and still be having sex. So I'm going to make sure I say that part. Block him on social media. You really don't need to be in his business. Uh, the fact that you know that he's dating people on Tinder. I mean, maybe he told you that. Which means he's way too damn comfortable. Because I'm carrying your baby. And you coming up here showing me some girl you talking to on Tinder. While you're not doing your part. Honestly, you don't need to still be there in his home because he does not respect you and he does not care about you. As far as him portraying what he is online, people will be able to see through that very soon. Because if you have the baby and you're gone and he's never with the baby, he's not going to look like a good dad. But that's another reason why you need to block him on social media. Because all that's going to do is piss you off. You're going to see him smiling. You're going to see him having a good time. You're going to see him in pictures with other women, videos with other women, doing his thing. And you're going to be sitting there with the newborn baby having low hours of sleep. Which is why you need to go on and get out and get as much rest as you can now. Because... You're gonna, your world is going to shift once you have this baby. Get out while you can. And once you do, block him on social media and keep your number the same. So that if he needs to know about your daughter, he can check up on you like that. Leave it up to him because he's already shown you that he doesn't care with his actions for the last six months of your pregnancy. Do not allow it to take your child being one years old for you to realize that you've been pouring into a one-sided relationship from what i'm hearing you're still holding on to something that's not there if he's shown you that he doesn't want to be serious and he's telling you that he's basically just co-parenting with you letting you stay there because you're pregnant and cares about the baby then that's great thank you for caring about me and let me stay here i'm gonna go ahead and move out for my own mental health He's causing you to have anxiety attacks, but you're staying in a situation. As tough as it seems, and as tough as it may sound coming from me because I don't know you from a can of paint, I've been there and I chose to stay in that toxic situation. And people wanted to help me, but not if I was going to sit there and continue to let him control me and, and treat me any kind of way and keep going back to him. You got to decide when you're tired. And I think that a lot of times we as women give men that don't deserve it the benefit of the doubt too much and too often. If it was toxic before you got pregnant and it's toxic during your pregnancy, nine times out of ten it's going to continue to be toxic after and it's only going to get worse. If you really don't want your daughter to see him mistreat you, go ahead and remove yourself from the situation. Co-parent with him. Don't take him from your daughter because he needs to help you. That's his responsibility too. But remove yourself from being available. Some people, especially narcissists, thrive off the availability of people that are codependent on them. It boosts their ego. It makes them feel good. It makes him feel good right now to go out and live his best life while you're pregnant and you really can't do the same thing and know that you're up waiting for him. He expects you to be waiting for him when he gets in at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning. He expects you to be begging him to come home because you've been doing that. What he doesn't expect is for you to love yourself more and walk out on him. He doesn't expect you to say, you know what, I've given you too much access to me, so this is it. He's expecting you to just always be there because you've shown him that you are going to be there no matter what he does. And so now it's time for you to reset the expectations with your actions. So regardless of whether you decide to do this after you see this video or if you wait until after your daughter is born, I would definitely recommend just focusing on yourself. And it's going to be hard to do that while you're in his house. So if you can move with your parent, move with your parent. Sounds like your mom is willing to help you. Let her be there for you. It's okay to make mistakes, but you're unhappy. And 
part of why you're unhappy is where you're living and who you are dealing with. You are seeing the person that has broken your heart every single day and he's still not showing remorse. He's not showing care for what he's done to you. He's not being there for you, so why still be there? He is showing you that he is more interested in, in meeting new people right now. And you know, when you, the daughter is here, you'll see how much he's gonna show up as a parent. I'm not gonna say, some of the most deadbeat guys as far as it pertains to relationships are still stand up men when it comes to parenting. So allow him to be there, but just see what he does. Um, that's my advice to you specifically because you've asked me for the video and you shared your situation. Everybody's situation is different, but be grateful that you have your mom and you have somebody that's willing to take you in and get you out of that situation. And if I were you, I'd just go for it before the baby gets here. Go ahead and go to mom's house and set your nursery up. It might be an adjustment because you're used to being with your man. You're used to being able to go as you please. And sometimes when you move with your parents, it's stressful too. But think of it this way. If you move back with your mom, maybe get you a work from home, virtual job, making some money, saving some money, getting the things that your daughter needs before she gets here. And really just focus on you because you deserve that. It sounds like you've been really engulfed in this relationship and focused on him and not what's best for you. And the thing is, he's not gonna do it. So you have to, you have to set the boundaries. You have to set the tone for how you wanna be treated. And once you do it with this one, I promise you'll never find yourself in this situation again because you have learned from this particular situation. So I hope that advice helps you. I wish you the best of luck in your journey to motherhood. You are still worthy of love and appreciation. And this is not the end for you, okay? This is not the end for love for you. This is not the end of opportunities for you. You still have the whole world ahead of you. You just are a mother now. And you're going to have to make decisions like a mom. And that's okay. Um, sending you much love. I thank you for watching my videos. I hope this helped. And I'll see you in my next video, y'all. If you have any advice for her, drop it down below. If you're in this situation, share your situation down below if you like. Keep the conversation going. Remember, I do have a whole playlist. Get over your baby daddy, sis. Advice from Yosha. So check that playlist out if you're in that situation. Don't be embarrassed. There's plenty of women who have benefited from watching these videos. I was in this situation myself. That's why I'm able to hear you and understand you because I've been in your shoes. And it's okay. It does get better. But it starts with you loving yourself first. It starts with you setting the tone for what you're going to accept. And from there, you will level up. Is is a no brainer. You can either stay where you are and be unhappy and be miserable, or you can get uncomfortable a little bit and experience being single and not connected to your ex and move forward. Those are your options and you have the choice. It's up to you. Anyway, much love. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.